Scientists have discovered microbes that live deep under the seabed at 120 degrees Celsius. In sediments excavated off the coast of Japan from depths of about 1.2 kilometers under the seabed, where the temperature reaches 120 degrees Celsius, scientists have found perfectly thriving microorganisms. This discovery it shows that life can survive higher temperatures and is present at higher temperatures depths than we previously thought. Since the discovery of the biosphere in the mid-1990s deep below the seabed, scientists studied the conditions in which organisms develop in this isolated and generally food-free environment. They wondered what conditions set the limits of life's existence. In 2016 an international group of scientists went to sea aboard the Japanese Chikyu ship to further characterize the biosphere. During the expedition, they were collected samples from a drill hole hollowed out about 125 kilometers off the coast of Japan in the Nankai Trench. At a depth of about 1.2 kilometers below the seabed, scientists came across become a small but very active microbial community. With depth and the temperature also increases rapidly with pressure. According to researchers, temperature at the very end of the sediment core they collected was 120 degrees Celsius, and yet the microbes found thrived in such conditions. New discoveries shed light on organisms' survival strategies living in this difficult environment. The research results were published in the journal Nature Communications. Life seems to be everywhere. I would speculate that everywhere where there is energy that microorganisms can use, life will find the way, says Tina Troida from the University of California, Los Angeles. It is possible that life exists at even higher temperatures. The only one the way to find out is to drill even deeper ads. However, none have been found in laboratory experiments to date microorganisms that would develop above 122 degrees Celsius. The seabed in the area where scientists drilled is located about 4 kilometers below the water surface, and the samples contain sediments which were up to 50 million years old. Scientists have determined the number of microbes in these sediments and measured their metabolic rate using highly sensitive measurements methane production and sulfate reduction. They found that the metabolic rate of these microbes were extremely tall for such a deep biosphere, especially since in shallower sediments, where it is much cooler and life is more abundant. The metabolism of microorganisms living there is much slower. A temperature of 120 degrees Celsius does a lot of damage to cells, so microbes need extensive metabolism to produce enough the amount of energy to repair this damage. It's a race to survive, says Troida. Energy required for thermal damage repairs increase rapidly with temperature, so most of this energy is probably necessary to counteract the continuous amino acid changes and loss of protein function is marked by Troida. Detection of metabolic activity of microorganisms in sediments containing less than 500 cells per cubic centimeter, for 7 there are no orders of magnitude less than in the average surface sediment not at all easy. We worked in extremely controlled, sterile conditions and we have conducted a large number of control experiments simultaneously with incubating samples, says Florian Schubert from the German research center Geosciences, who carried out analyses as part of his PhD. We even incubated gamma-sterilized sediments as well as fluid drill from a drilled hole to detect any potential reactions non-biological or microbial activity caused by contamination adds Jens Kalmeyer. High activity per cell of sulfate reducers and methanogens in the deepest and warmest sediments are apparently driven by hydrogen and acetate from sediments. Acetate, which is a small molecule organic also found in vinegar, is particularly interesting as potential food source says Verena Huer from Merum, Germany.
Acetate it reaches a concentration of over 10 mol per liter in water filling rock pores, which it is exceptionally high for marine sediment sats. For Bo Barker Jergensen of Aarhus University, who he is one of the pioneers of deep biosphere research, these discoveries are fascinating. First of all, because previous research on the deep biosphere shows, that the microorganisms inhabiting it generally slow down their metabolism, but here it's the other way around. Findings so far show that microbes in the deep biosphere is an extremely lethargic community that is slowly biting the last remains of buried organic matter from a million years ago. But deep the biosphere is full of surprises. Finding a life developing with yes high metabolic rate at such high temperatures under the seabed it stimulates our imagination about how life could evolve or survive in similar environments beyond Earth emphasizes Jergensen. It is unclear what these thermophilic microbes are because the team was unable to sequence their DNA. It's also unclear how the way found themselves in sediments. By the time the sediments reached their present depth, this was much cooler environment. Scientists believe that several microorganisms could be present during their deposition and they may have survived in some way, the until temperatures began to rise as sediments descended lower and lower.